In the mornings, Alfie went to nursery school. His friends Bernard, Min, Sarah and Sam, and the others went there too. Gosh, there are lots of children. I wonder if we can count them. First there's the little boy in, in the yellow shirt. He's number one. One, two, three. Annie Rose in the pushchair. She's number four, five. Then there's Alfie. And then on the next page there's Bernard. A little baby in arms. And oh dear, I'm losing count already. Maybe you can do better. I think there are 15 little children altogether. There were some interesting things to do at nursery school. Alfie drew pictures and learned how to write his name at the top. He did counting and played in the shop. Wow, everybody looks so busy. Are you busy at school? Alfie sat on the floor with all the other children and listened to stories. They sang songs together and sometimes they made masks or paper crowns to take home. Alfie's nursery school was right next door to the big school where Alfie and the others would go when they were older. From their play area, they could see the big children when they came out to play. Alfie and Bernard knew the names of some of the boys at big school. There was Kevin Turley and Mohammed Rehan, Todd Rawlings and the Santos twins, all who lived in Alfie's street. There was also a big boy with red hair whose name was Ian Barger. Bernard liked Ian a lot and laughed and laughed at the funny things he did. But Ian never took any notice of the little children. All the boys in Year One wanted to be in Ian's gang. Mostly they played football. Sometimes they pulled their sweaters over their heads and tore through the playground, hanging onto each other and pretending to be a fierce dragon. They kept falling over on purpose and sometimes pulled other people over with them. Ian was always the one in front. Bernard and Alfie both wished they could join in and be part of the fierce dragon too. Alfie went to nursery school on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday mornings. On Saturday and Sunday there was no school Annie Rose was very pleased when Saturday morning came and Alfie could stay at home and play with her. One fine Saturday morning, Mum said she was going to take Alfie and Annie Rose with her to a pot plant sale. It was at a big house not too far away. Alfie and Annie Rose had just started a good game and they didn't think pot plants sounded very interesting. But Dad was too busy to look after them that morning. So off they went. The house where the pot plant sale was had a beautiful garden with shady paths and big trees and lots of flowers. But Alfie and Annie Rose soon got bored with watching Mum choose pot plants. Luckily, there was a grassy place at the end of the garden where helpers were looking after some children who were playing on swings and a climbing frame and a slide. Mum asked Alfie if he would like to stay there for a little while and he said, yes! <laughs> so Mum went off with Annie Rose saying that they would be back very soon. Wow, lots of things to do and I can even see a sandpit. What fun! Alfie had not been there very long when a great commotion broke out. Somebody was screaming and yelling and making a terrible fuss. All the helpers suddenly rushed to crowd around where the noise was coming from. Right in the middle of them was a boy with a runny nose and tears pouring down his cheeks, yelling at the top of his voice. 
I want my mummy! I want my mummy! he shouted. The kind helpers were trying to comfort him, but he just went on yelling, I want my mummy! Don't worry, we'll soon find her for you, said one. Tell us your name, dear, will you? said another. But the boy would not tell them his name. He was far too busy yelling and sobbing. Doesn't anyone know his name? cried one helper. Only one person knew who that boy was. And that person was Alfie. I know who he is, he told everybody. His name is Ian Barger and he goes to Parkside School. As soon as Ian caught sight of Alfie, he grabbed him and held on to him very tightly. Then, slowly, he stopped crying and began sniffing and hiccuping instead. Just at that moment, who should come hurrying up, red in the face, but Ian's mum. Oh, dear, oh, dear, what a fuss, she said. I told you I would be just over there buying a pot of geraniums. Then she gave Ian a big hug and wiped his nose. Poor little Ian! she said. Did you think you had lost me when I was right over there all the time? Ian nodded his head. He was still hiccuping and holding tightly on to Alfie's hand. Well, I see you had a kind friend to look after you, so you needn't have been frightened, need you, sweetheart? said Ian's mum, and she beamed at Alfie. Then she thanked the helpers and thanked Alfie especially for taking care of Ian. How lucky you were here, she told him. Afterwards, she and Alfie's mum had a chat. When it was time to go, she bought all three children ice creams. Ian was now holding on to her hand very firmly indeed. At school, next Monday morning, Ian came swaggering out to play with the other boys as usual. And, as usual, he took no notice of Alfie and Bernard. But when the ball bounced over into their bit of the playground and Alfie threw it back, he said, Thanks, mate. Alfie's mum became friendly with Ian's mum while they waited together outside the school gates. One day, mum invited her to bring Ian for tea after school. Bernard was invited too. Hmm, better lock up all the breakables said Dad, when he heard that Bernard and Ian were coming to tea. But, as it turned out, Ian did not break anything at all. He spent most of his time playing with Annie Rose. He helped her to line up her dolls and cuddly toys into a football team, and she told him all their names. Then they made a house for them, out of cushions. Bernard and Alfie thought that was a very babyish game. But after tea, they all went outside and had a great game together, being big, tough boys. Wasn't it a nice thing that a big boy and smaller boys could play together, and, of course, not forgetting Annie Rose. <laughs>